What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified. Ah, I can't speak. Mercury, Mercury, retrograde. I'm like, whoa. Um, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. Say that five times fast. Just saying. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I truly appreciate it. I just want to throw that out there real quick. We're at 12,310 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I truly appreciate it. It helps support a single mama and two kids, one of her income streams. So thank, thanks so much um, for all the love and support to the channel from the bottom of my heart chakra. I just want to say that. Just saying. Um, this is Oracle card reading for the sign of Aquarius for May of 2022. This could resonate if you have air. Blah, 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 blah. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart. Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Maintain energy for your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, 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 everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so here's the deal. After Aquarius's, uh, not Aquarius's, Aries reading, I was going to go to bed. But, I can't sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep. I mean, I'm for real. I can't sleep. So, um, I was laying there, playing with my kitty cat, and I heard Aquarius, and then I got some downloads. So, I mean, that's confirmation for me to come in here and do this. I mean, I can't sleep anyways. So, I mean, why not? Just saying. So, I guess it's time for Aquarius' reading. So, um, just saying, just saying. Um, so I'll go ahead and share the downloads, um, for newbies just joining, um, please only take the messages that resonate, please leave the rest. If it does not apply, please let it fly. Okay. I just want to make that very clear. Okay. Please, please, please. One message may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the messages into your own personal life, how they resonate. If they resonate, please do not force them. And make a fit okay okay so the channel message uh one of them i received was um an aquarius cannot stop thinking um some of about one person some about two plus people um they're going to drive by their home soon um about to learn the real truth is what i heard so that um that's the first channel message um the second one Oh, shoot. I had a brain fart. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a second, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I forgot it. I forgot the other one. Uh, but if I remember it, I'll let you guys know. Crap. There was another one, too. And I forgot it. Um, but if I remember it, I'll let you know. So, yeah, so an Aquarius cannot stop thinking. Uh, some of you guys, it sounds like it's one person. For some, it's two plus people. Um, I heard you're about to drive by uh, their home soon. Um, so it sounds like by their personal dwelling. Um, and you're about to learn the, learn the real truth. So it sounds like something's going on with one person or two plus people in your life, Aquarius. Um, I think you have high, high intuition if this resonates for you and you know, I think you know something's going on. Um, either they're lying to you, either somebody's lying to you or they're telling you truth, how that resonates. That's what how I feel it can go. Either somebody is lying to you or they are telling you the truth. Um, but however that resonates, for some it's one, plus, one person in your life, for some it's two plus people. But however that resonates, I heard you're going to drive by either one person's home or two plus people's home soon, and you're going to learn the real truth. So I guess whether they're lying to you or telling you the truth, either one person or two plus people, how that applies in one's life, Aquarius, um, whoever you are and how that applies for you. Like I said, don't force it if it don't fit, just saying. Um, how that applies. I wish I could remember the other one, and I can't remember it. If I remember it, I'll let you know. Okay. So, um, yeah, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so let's do the animal spirit. Hope everybody is doing fantastical. 
if you think anyone else could, um, oh, I know the other one. I know the other one. I know the other one. Okay, yeah. The other one was, um, ah, so glad. Brain farts over. Um, the other one was, um, oh my God, it, shit, it happened again. Okay, I give up. <laughs> She, oh my god it came and then it went i hate when that happens oh yeah yeah yeah. okay 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 i'm getting it out now um an aquarius is about to uh learn of someone's to, uh learn that someone is a tarot card reader soon and they're about to search their channel um and subscribe to their channel many negative um not many um Many positive, not negative, many positive series of chain events are going to occur from that. Yeah, that was it. I was like, man, why do I keep forgetting it? Yeah, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard uh, subscribe to their channel. So I'm thinking, one, it has to be a, pu a public platform. Uh, whoever this Aquarius is, they don't know of this reader's channel yet, is what it sounds like in the universe. But it sounds like through series of chain events, they're about to learn of it. Now, whoever this Aquarius is and how they apply, okay? Um, I'm pulling this person in in my reading for a reason, so I don't know if they're going to learn in my channel or some other reader's channel, but there's a reason I'm pulling them in uh, for the message. Uh, I guess I'm just meant to deliver it to the spiritual universe. I don't know. Um, but it's, some, it's an Aquarius that does not know of a tarot reader's channel, whoever they are and how they apply. Um, but I heard they're about to learn of the reader's channel soon through series of chain of events. It sounds like created in the universe. And once they learn of this reader's channel, I heard they're going to watch and then they're going to subscribe. So it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. And then many positive series of chain of events are going to occur. So however this applies in the universe um, in one slide. So um, only you know your story, not anybody else Aquarius. It's an Aquarius that doesn't even know of somebody's tarot reading channel yet. So whatever reader it is out there in the universe, it could be me, it could be somebody else. I'm not sure, but it is, um, it's going to create positive series of chain of events between this Aquarius and this reader. Um, once they discover this reader is what it sounds like. Um, however, that applies in this Aquarius's and reader's life. Whoever this is and how this applies. I, sh I guess I should say. Yeah, that was the other one. Yeah. So, just saying. So, yeah. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aquarius. You have starfish spirit and lion spirit. So, for, oh my lord, that's way too many. Uh, for, so, for some of you guys, um, way too many. You guys, maybe. Aquarius, maybe you're emotional about person, people, place, or situation, or someone is emotional about you, or maybe you are you have addictions or you're dealing with someone with addictions, because when cards fly out in excess like this, it can indicate emotional, whoa, everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. It can indicate emotional instability either in you or somebody you're connected to, or it could indicate, um, um, Addictions, either in you or somebody you're connected to. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Aquarius. But what I was going to say is you have the starfish spirit and lion spirit for your animal spirit cards, Aquarius. So for some, you could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. If you are. Um, because you have water sign and fire sign energy. Um, starfish spirit is water, uh, water sign energy. Lion spirit is fire sign energy. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aquarius. I heard get one more. We have January, throne. Spirit messages you have signed of Aquarius. Oh, 
Oh my God, I have it again. Do you see this? Second time, except this time, it's a bunch. Holy crap. Double confirmation. I really think some you were emotional or somebody else is emotional about the situation or um, you're dealing with somebody with addictions or you have addictions, however that resonates. <gasps> Again! Freaking A! Triple confirmation, man! That's never happened to me in a reading. Three times. I just want to say that. That has never happened to me in a reading ever. And I've been reading over two years on here. Triple confirmation with this has never happened to me ever in a reading. Ever. Ever. Double has happened. Never triple with this. I just want to throw that out there. Ew. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. And I mean, all over the friggin' place. You see this? It is time you intuitively know this. That's what I heard. Dear Lord, it is time intuitively you know this. So, you plug it in how it resonates. It is time you intuitively know this. So, whoever you are, if that message applies for you, you're highly intuitive, I'll tell you that. And it is time for something. Whatever in the world it is time for, only you know your story, not anybody else Aquarius. Spirit messages you have presented Aquarius. So, it is time for something. Um, I Only you know what it's time for, not anybody else, because only you know your story, not anybody else. So, it is time for something. Whatever in the crap it is time for. Only you know this, not anybody else. And But I'll tell you, you're very highly intuitive, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, and you know it's time, whatever it's time for. Great, it's time to go out and have fun. Uh, okay, yeah. Spirit said you have time to clear it. Someone is about to tell an Aquarius about a reader's channel. For spite and maliciousness, but it is going to backfire in a huge way. They want they want this Aquarius to look at this person in a very negative way, but it is it is actually going to be very opposite. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, okay, so I think it might be that same Aquarius that's about to learn of a reader channel. It may or may not be. Only this Aquarius that is about to learn of the reader channel knows this. Um, but some Aquarius out in the universe, somewhere, whoever this is and how it applies, they're about to learn of a reader channel, whether it's my channel or somebody else's channel. Um, and if the same message applies to that other message, which I feel it may in some cases, and some it may not, but. Whoever is telling this Aquarius, because none of this has happened yet, it sounds like. Whoever is telling this Aquarius about this reader channel, they are doing it out of spite and maliciousness because they want this Aquarius to look at this reader in a negative sense. But I heard it's actually about to backfire, and it doesn't sound like this Aquarius is going to look at this per this reader in a negative sense. Um, whoever this Aquarius is, because they haven't discovered the Reader's Channel yet, it sounds like. I mean, at least not on March 1st of 2022 at 5.54 a.m. is what I'm feeling. So you plug it in how it resonates. Because um, I heard it's going to backfire. So it, it sounds like the Aquarius is going to like the Reader's Channel um, and like their content. Um, I think they're probably going to want the... Whoever is about to tell this Aquarius about... Um, the Reader's Channel, I heard it was out of spite and maliciousness, but it's probably 
they want them to they probably want them to look um uh, look they probably want them to think they're crazy is what i'm thinking they want them to think they're crazy or that they're wackadoo or to think negatively of them in some shape form or fashion is what i'm feeling here um that's exactly what i'm feeling i didn't hear that in the spiritual realm but that's what i'm feeling um because there's a reason they're telling this aquarius about this channel um but it's not out of goodness of for the reader it's actually out of maliciousness and spite intent for the reader but i heard it's gonna backfire the uh aquarius is gonna actually like the channel so you plug it in how it resonates this Aquarius sounds very um important um at least to the reader um or important in some shape form or fashion to the person that is about to tell them about the channel or maybe both however that resonates Okay, we have starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities, lion spirit, excuse me, be generous of spirit, January, throne, position of authority, grapes, time to go out and have fun, storm spirit, chaos, enchanted fern, grotto, ref, refuge. Um, number 5937, 42 or 16 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 59, 37, 42, or 16. It could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible um, jersey number. Um, 59, 37, 42, 16. You plug it in how it resonates. Yeah. Okay. And like I said earlier, you could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign because you have water sign and fire sign energy. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Midday, or Jupiter charts. Also, I want to encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Midday, and Jupiter charts um, signs. Um, and also, you're welcome to cross watch the signs as well if you would like. Lion Spirit, be generous to Spirit. Oh, hold on. I feel guided to do the starfish spirit first because that's the one that came out first. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. A particular Aquarius has really kept their options open for strategic reasons. options in many aspects business romantic etc however there is one particular person that is pulling on their heartstrings holy moly aquarius does aquarius have some feelings up in this bitch just saying just saying <laughs> i feel like i just want to say I'm a Leo son, right? I mean, anybody's been on my channel a hot minute, y'all know that, just for real, for real. But for the newbies, I'm a Leo son. And Aquarius is my opposite sign. Um, I do not have Aquarius in my chart. Um, nay, nay. But I, let me tell you, I feel like an Aquarius a lot of times. I do. <laughs> Over the last couple of years, not before, but, um, the last couple of years i have felt like an aquarius <laughs> a lot of times and that's just the truth um but aquarius is stereotypically now you know it's all on how you grow and manifest yourself just because you're aquarius doesn't mean you don't have feelings that you have a nice heart that you always think about everything and you never put any emotion in it i mean that's what people would stereotypically say about Aquariuses, and I'm just being for real, but it's not, that's not the truth. It's how you grow and manifest yourself. I don't care what sign you are. Um, I'm a Leo sun. If you, if, for example, I'll take me as an example, because I can only speak on myself, not anybody else, but I'm a Leo sun. If people stereotypically judge me off my sun sign, they would say I'm egotistical, that I like to go out and party, party, party all the time, that I love attention that i was an attention seeker and etc 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 but that's the furthest from me and that's just the truth yeah i like to go out and have fun and yeah i mean 
I like to be recognized for positive things when the recognition is due my way, but I'm not, I don't feel I'm egotistical at all. I feel I'm very down to earth and I feel I'm very open-minded. Um, but if you would judge me just stereotypically off my sun sign, you would think my ego was bigger than freaking the um, size of Texas and that I went out all the time attention seeking. But that's not the case. Um, you see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is um, whoever you are, Aquarius, in this particular message here, um, you have kept, you've kept your yourself open. You've kept yourself open. I heard in business and um, in many areas, many aspects of life, business and um, romantic and um, other avenues. Um, it sounds like for strategic reasons. Well, I heard for strategic reasons. It's for strategic, uh, strategic reasons. But that sounds a lot like me is what I'm trying to say. It sounds a lot like me. I mean, I've been single for a very, very, very long time. I've been married one time. Uh, legally married one time. I've been divorced almost, almost. I think it's it's been ten years now. It's been ten years actually. I've been legally divorced ten years. Um, so, but I've kept myself open in the marriage realm and the dating realm and other avenues realm for strategic reasons, like this Aquarius. Um, and that's just the truth. That's why I say that. But. But this is very Aquarian behavior, is what I'm trying to say. This is very Aquarian behavior. And that's why I say I feel I felt like an Aquarius the last couple of years, because that's the kind of behavior I've been taking on. Because it's smart. It's just damn smart, whoever this is for. Um, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, whoever you are, because that's very, very, very smart behavior. Um, yes, um, keeping yourself open because you don't want to get locked into anything you don't want to get locked into anything that's not good for you or your situation um etc 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 um but whoever you are this is the but i mean this is typical stereotypical aquarium behavior is what i'm saying and this is beautiful man this is beautiful because like i said i've adopted the same behavior in my life um for strategic reasons like an aquarian um but my point is, it's very smart behavior, whoever this is. But I heard somebody's really pulling on your heartstrings. So, stereotypically, Aquarians are known as, um, like, um, very unemotional. Very unemotional, especially when it comes to love and feelings and romance and things like that. Um, but somebody's pulling on somebody's heartstrings is what I'm saying. <laughs> whoever this is to you, Aquarius. Um, so there is a heart. I'm just saying there is a heart for somebody out there. There's a heart. <laughs> I mean, I'm not making fun. I'm not making fun. I hope you don't think I'm making fun of you, but, um, I'm really not because I, like I said, I'm taking on the same energy and the same behavior. I'm feathers from Aquarius that there is. I mean, and that's just the truth, but I have taken on this energy. So if that happened to me, I think somebody would say the same thing about me. Oh my gosh, she's got a heart. What? And that's the truth. So whoever you are, somebody's pulling on your heartstrings there, Aquarius. Um, for some, it might be a water sign. For some, it might be a fire sign. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody's pulling on somebody's heartstrings, whoever you are and have the supplies. Um, I feel for some, it might be a water sign or a um, fire sign. Uh Kids or Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. A particular Aquarius is about to shock the hell out of everybody and reveal very important information on serious crimes of the past. Get it out in the open. Redeem a community, redeem a family.
This person will be known as a hero. Damn! Whoa! Jeez! You're coming freaking strong, Aquarius, whoever you are. Jeez, um, this is a good one. So whoever you are, um, you know some information on some very serious crimes of the past. Whoever you are and how, whatever serious crimes they are and how they apply, I heard you're about to um, reveal them. You're about to reveal them. It sounds like for some, you might have been holding these crimes, information of these serious crimes in for a while. For some, you might have just learned of the serious crimes. Only you know you're sorting out anybody else. But whoever you are, you're about to reveal them. Um, I heard to redeem a community and to redeem a family. So, you're about to be generous of spirit with your information on the, um, on the information of the crime or crimes. Um, I heard very serious crimes. So, I mean, that's wonderful. I heard you're about to be a hero. So, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, whoever you are. Whoever you're going to reveal them to. I didn't hear who you're going to reveal them to. I don't know. Only you know that, not anybody else. So, I don't know if it's the police, feds um somebody else um that could help i mean i'm not sure but somebody um whoever this is or some people or a group or what have you but you're about to re i mean the very serious crimes um maybe a um water sign committed these crimes or a fire sign committed these crimes i'm not sure but um one person or two plus people committed these crimes only you know this, but you're about to reveal the information. Um, I heard to redeem a community and re to redeem a family. So you care about this family I'm feeling and you care about this, the, this community. Um, maybe the, uh, it sounds like the community has got their names um, smashed down into the mud um, because they didn't do the right thing is what I'm feeling. Um, and you're about to help redeem the community. How that resonates in one's life. January. Some very significant events happened in January of 2022. Very significant events. Eye opening for an Aquarius. Has really started changing this Aquarius's perspective and it will continue to change your perspective. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some very serious events I heard happened in January of 2022. It sounds like very eye-opening serious events. Um, I heard they, yeah, I heard it open your eyes in a huge way, Aquarius. So like wake up call energy here, um, whatever these very serious events that occurred in January 2022 were and how they apply in your life. Um, but I heard it's gonna continue to change your perspective on things. Um, that, I'm sorry, that it already has changed your perspective on things and it's going to continue. So whatever these very serious events of January 20, January 2022 are to you and how they apply in one's life. Um, however that resonates in your life, Aquarius. Um, it's something that very serious event or events that happened in January of 2022, whatever they are and how they apply to you in your life, it's already changed your perspective on things and it's going to continue to change your perspective on things. So whatever that is and how that applies in your life. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. Throne, position of authority. A particular Pisces is very significant to a particular Aquarius. Some in a very negative way, some in a very positive way. Okay, I heard, I heard a particular a Pisces is very significant to a particular Aquarius. Some in a very positive way, some in a very ne negative way. So whoever this Piscean is, it could be a masculine or feminine Piscean. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Altair, Medivh, and Jupiter charts. Whoever they are to you, um, Aquarius. But for some of you guys, there's a Piscean energy that's a very negative uh, presence in your life in some shape, some shape, form, or fashion. Mercury retrograde just got me like, whoa, so you just got to bear with me, I'm just saying. And for some, uh, Pisces is a very negative influence in your life. Um, so you have to plug this Pisces in. Are they a negative 
influence in your life or they a positive influence in your life. Um, but somehow they affect your life, either in a negative sense or a positive sense. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Throne, position of authority, but they're very significant in your life, whoever they are. Um, to me, I, they, I feel they can resonate in a million different ways for a million different people. Are they a family member? Are they a coworker? Are they a former coworker? Are they a neighbor? Are they um, someone that lives with you in your home? Are they a child? Are they a parent? I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Throne, position of authority. Some are very high positions of high authority. Some are positions of authority. Okay, I heard some of you guys are very high positions of high authority, and some of you guys are positions of authority. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. So, what, I mean... Some, your positions of authority, so I feel you could be a manager, boss, supervisor. Well, yeah, I feel you could be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, possibly, for a position of authority. Or you could be just a position of authority in the community. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. It could be for some of you guys, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be a position of authority looked at looked at upon as a position of authority in the community. For example, like um, like a nurse, like a, a paramedic, like a um, uh, like a teacher, like a, um, or something of that nature. Um, you know, where the community looks high upon you uh, in those positions. Um, for some of you are positions of authority, some of you are very high positions of high authority. So. The very high positions of high authority, I'm feeling, well, obviously that's higher than those those things. I would think like man, uh, manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or like um, um, maybe like a um, business owner or a, um, or a, <laughs> I'm trying to think, a business owner or a, um, Mm, or a lawyer, or a doctor, or a um, PA, or a CRNP, or something of that nature, um, how that resonates, um, or a, um, I'm trying to think what else, maybe you're a politician, very high position of authority, or something of that nature. Um, some of your positions of authority, some of your very high positions of authority. So only you plug in your story however you resonate. I'm trying to give examples here, but it's 6 13 a.m. in the morning. I haven't I've been up since like I've been up like 20 hours. So I'm just saying. I've cleaned the whole house. I've done all the I've done yard work. We got furniture out to the street. I mean a piece of my fence fell off and I drug that to the street. I mean, I'm going, I still can't sleep. So bear with me, just saying. <laughs> so however that plugs in, whether you're a position of authority or a position of high authority, how that resonates. Great, it's time to go out and have fun. An Aquarius really knows it's time to go out with with good people, good people to be around. It's definitely overdue. Good vibes. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever you are, you definitely know it's time to go out and have fun with people. Basically, good vibe spaces. And it sounds like people like you or people you like to be around. Um, and people that I think people with positive energy. Um, whoever um, whoever this is for and how it applies. But I heard it's long overdue. So whoever this is for, I feel you might be a workaholic. 
or you might work a lot, or you just might not have went out in a while. Um, and you probably just haven't went out in a while because you haven't found anybody um, that you want to go out with. Um, trust me, that's a lot of my problem. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, um, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, but you have the time to go out and have fun um, card and the spiritual downloads of it's overdue. So it's long overdue, um, whoever you are, um, I don't think it's necessarily that you don't want to go out and have fun. I think you do. I just think you don't want to go out with just anybody. That's exactly what I think. I think you want to go out with quality over quantity. Um, and trust me, that's my problem. Um, so I feel you. Like I said, I'm not an Aquarius, but I'm relating with this reading so much, just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, that's a really good one, though, because you don't want to go out with just anybody. Um, that's how crazy negative tower moments happen and um, crazy shit happens. And I don't like crazy shit. Just saying, just saying. Not in my life. Storm, uh, and ironically, we have storm, spirit, chaos. For some Aquariuses, someone's going to try to start huge chaos in your life. For some Aquariuses, someone's going to try to start huge chaos in someone you care about life soon. You're about to stand up for yourself in a huge way and for this other person in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So for some of you guys, basically somebody's going to try to start start, start start some shit with you, basically. Whoever you are and how this applies. Um, somebody's going to try to start some shit with you. I'm just being real tall, just saying. Um, and you're about to stand up for yourself in a huge way. For some, they're going to try to start shit with somebody you care about. Now, you know, you can care for somebody in a full time. I mean, this doesn't have to be like your lover. I'm just saying. This could be anybody you care about in the universe. You can care about people platonically in the universe and not be, like, with them. I'm just saying. So, it, it can be anybody you care about is what I'm trying to say. I just don't want people to get confused. Um, it doesn't have to be like a romantic partner. It could be. Uh, for some, it could be if you have a romantic partner and it's your romantic partner and they're trying to start shit with them. For some, or it could be not your romantic partner. I mean, however that plugs in is what I'm saying. But it's somebody you care about, whether it's platonically, romantically, etc., etc., etc. Um, and I heard you're about to stand up for them in a huge way. So for some, it's you they're going to try to start shit with it, shit with. For some, it is somebody you care about they're going to try to start shit with. For some, it could be both. I didn't hear it was both, but it could be. Um, but I heard you're about to stand up. Some for yourself in a huge way, some for this other person in a huge way. So, chaos energy um, coming towards you, Aquarius, it sounds like soon. Um, how this applies in one's life. Um, everybody's on different time of life paths, so, you know, you plug yourself in where you fit. But for some, chaos energy is coming directly towards you, is what it sounds like. For some, it's coming directly towards this person you care about, um, either in a platonic or romantic way. But you're about to stand up some for yourself. So for this person, how this resonates, chaos energy. And for one Aquarius, they're about to realize someone they really trusted in the past is the chaos and shit starter. And they are about to lay into them in a huge way. Oh my God. Woo! Um, and for one of you guys, you're about to realize someone that you really trusted, I heard. Um, so you have built a bond with this person, it sounds like, in the past. And I heard you, you trusted them. You trusted them. Um, but it sounds like, in all fairness, they're a huge manipulator. Because huge manipulators, that's their number one thing. Emotional manipulation to get you to trust them. Once you trust them, that's when they tend to sword you, 20 sword you, 30 sword you, right in the damn back because they know they got you emotionally. Um, and that's just the truth, real girl. Trust me, I've been around many an emotional manipulator in my damn life. That's a lot why I take on a lot of Aquarian energy now. And that's just the truth. 
Um, but um, whoever this is for, um, Aquarius, if this resonates for you, um, it's somebody that you, you trust. You trust. It sounds like you currently trust them in the energetic space or you did trust them. However, that resonates. But I heard you're about to realize they're a huge liar, basically. They're a huge liar, i.e. a manipulator. Um, and they are really the shit starter and chaos starter. And you're about to basically lay into them. Um, you're about to find this out soon. It doesn't, for some, you could have already found it out. But I'm feeling for whoever this is for, for a majority of you guys, you're about to find it out. You're, And once you find it out, I think the chaos is about to come out in you. And you're about to lay into them. So good for you, Aquarius. You go with your bad self, whoever that's for. I mean, because in all fairness, they deserve it. They deserve it. If you go around shit starting with people, being chaos to other people, shit starting, intentionally shit starting with other people, they deserve it back. That's energetic boomerang back on their ass. And honestly, they deserve it. And I'm, I mean, I'm just being for real for real. I'm not trying to sound harsh or cold or mean, but it is the truth. You know, I mean, imagine if somebody did that to them. Um, whoever this person is, they sound like a huge manipulator and liar. If somebody did it to them, they probably will play victim mentality. And I didn't hear that they would, but that's my deductive logic and reasoning on this. This sounds like a kind of person that would play huge victim mentality if the same shit was done to them that they do to other people. Someone is having a huge wake up call. I heard someone is having a huge wake up call. I'm serious. I'm serious about that. I'm serious. So I feel in situation three if that resonates with you, Aquarius, you're about to be chaos energy back to this person. You're about to energetically boomerang it back to this person. But in all fairness, they freaking deserve it. Whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. Refuge. An Aquarius is about to really, really form a very deep bond with a fem feminine energy. Very loyal, very caring. Not a shit starter. Doesn't spread business. Damn, well, you sound like you got a winner, winner, chicken dinner there, uh, Aquarius. Now, you know, this could be platonic, though. This this doesn't have to be um, turned into romantical. I didn't hear that it was going to. Um, for some, it could just be a deep friendship. Um, and I'm serious about that. I, I'm serious. Um, some, it could turn romantical. I don't know. Um, only you were, you were the only manifester of your own destiny here. So whoever this feminine energy is to you, you could be masculine or feminine. Um, but whoever you're about to deal with here that you find um, that you're about to find very loyal and caring and um, um, not a shit starter and basically doesn't spread business around. So she's not a gossiper and a, like a gossip gal or a gossip Gary energy. Um, you're about to, I think you're about to find refuge in her is exactly what I think. You're about to find refuge in her um, because you know you either know all these qualities about her already, or you're about to learn these about her. And you're about to really like them. Um, that's exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. And like I said, you can be masculine or feminine. It could be a platonic connection, or it could turn into a romantic connection if you both free willingly choose it to be down the line. However, that resonates. But... You either know these qualities about her or you're about to learn about these qualities about her and you're about to really like them. And you're, it sounds like you're about to take refuge in her um, and as a friend. It sounds like as a friend. Um, and maybe that's who you're going to go out and have fun with for some of you guys. That's exactly what I think for some of you guys. Because for some of you guys, you're very selective about who you go out with. And trust me, I know, because I am too. Um, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is a good one. The readings have been pretty good this round. I mean, I'm serious. They've been pretty good. 
for the most part. Scorpios was pretty, um, Scorpios was kind of rocky. Um, yeah, Scorpios was kind of rocky, and there was another one kind of rocky, too. Aries was really good, and this one's really good. Um, the, who was the other one that was rocky? Um, it was the second one I did. Uh, not, well, Cancers, but Cancers was like half and half. It was half and half. Um, Scorpios was pretty rocky, but everybody else has been pretty good. Particular text messages are about, are about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. For some. For some, a particular phone call. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Particular um, text messages are about to become very significant in a, um, Aquarius' life. And for some, a particular phone call. So, um, only you know your story, not anybody else, Aquarius. Um... I feel these could be text messages either you send to some person, people, place, or situation. Well, I feel it's either text messages you're either sending to one person or two plus people or text messages that are sent to you. Um, and phone call energy, same thing. Either you're sending this phone call to somebody, or you're, you're making the phone call to somebody, or somebody's making it to you. But some kind of significant... Sorry. Text message energy... In the universe for an Aquarius and for some a particular phone call energy significant for an Aquarius. Either you're making the phone call or receiving it or you're making the text message or receiving it. How that resonates. All right. Well, I think we're done. Sorry it is so long. I love you guys so much. Hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit, benefit from these videos, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos on your social media and word of mouth, I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.